You are producing content, but your followers are not rising. In this episode, I will share with you the main reasons why this is happening. Coming up. Welcome back to creating your own new limitless world. And for the new faces, I am Dr. Joe Isaac. I am very passionate about helping people level up their game and feel super excellent about themselves. If you want to know more, I will put a link for a bio in the description because I'm not gonna brag about myself and waste your time. On my channel, you hear the truth. What you see is what you get. No advertising and affiliate marketing stuff. My passion is to help others feel excellent and feel inspired. And using the social media is my means of doing so. I do have a real job. Thank you. If you're not subscribed, you might miss on my tips of TikTok Famous series, plus my psychology tips, so it's your call. The first thing you need to understand is the psychology of the following. To have this taken care of, to put it into simple terms, away from the psychology terms, I would say think of it like your usual grocery store that you go always to buy your groceries from versus a convenience store or a 7-Eleven that you may encounter once, buy a product or buy an item from and never see this place again. Now you might ask yourself, which one really requires a higher class of service? It's no brainer, it's obviously your normal and usual grocery store. And that's the relationship you would want to develop with your followers. So once you understand that component, you understand that you're going to serve and you're going to deliver to that class of service to maintain them coming back for you. So if you're not delivering that class service, you're not serving them, you're not looking after them, somebody else does. And that's one of the main reasons why they may not be rising. However, I don't think that this is the most important and the most common. Second reason I found that some people were doing follow for follow party, they've, they've developed a lot of people that following them. And down the track, now that you have been working hard, you've been producing content, they're just seeing your content, they're not interested in that content and they were never interested. That's why I'm never suggesting follow for follow parties unless you have common interests and you can actually even work together, then that might be helpful. Otherwise, they're not gonna watch your videos, they might not even like them and they may skip them. So they would rather be harmful than helpful if you're not abiding by those conditions. The third reason that people are struggling to categorize what type of content you have. So they look at your videos, they see some videos for traveling, some videos for massage, some videos for eyelashes. They have no idea exactly what is the direction. Is it sport? Is it food? Is it, what is it? And a lot of people have that content, especially in the very beginning, they are testing by several types of content, seeing which one people gonna like, which one people won't respond to. The problem with this later on, if you maintain that behavior, that it confuses the people. And this happened with me personally on several accounts when I tried this as well. So the lesson that I have learned and I have seen the followers starting to come through when the people knew my content is about psychology in an informative way that is super to the point, I started to see now there is a repetition. I'm the guy that helps people to read minds and talks about psychology in an informative way following started to emerge and happen naturally. So you gotta think of what is the type of content that you are projecting to your audience that is consistent, irrelevant of any trends you are writing that tells them about you. Fourth reason, are you writing any trends? And if you are, that's a question that you might be thinking about. So you've put a video about some kind of football match and you've got a lot of people watching that video, a lot of views, a lot of likes. And then they might follow you, they may not follow you. If they did follow you and then later on they found that you're talking about arts, has nothing to do with sport, you lose those followers. Which is why always think about the trend that you're gonna ride, is it in your direction? Or you can contextualize it and customize it. I like to keep my videos short and sharp and to the point because I value your time. So most probably I will do a separate in-depth video just about the five destructive mistakes that TikTokers do at the beginning that destruct their account. And share with you guaranteed tips that will work throughout the video. So stay tuned for the next episode. Let me know what you think. And if you'd like me to have a look at your TikTok account, make sure that you drop your username in the comment section below. See you on the next episode with the five destructive mistakes that TikTokers do. That's it for this video. And thank you for watching.